bye peanut butter. Go. Bye puppy. Good boy. Bye bye bye. Good boy. Oh. Hello, hello. Travel her shoes from LAX Airport is actually almost midnight and I'm about to um jump on a plane to Southeast Asia for almost a month. It was very sad to say goodbye to my dog. But I wanted to show you what it's really like for those of you who don't get to travel that uh, often on international airlines or don't know how to transfer planes, it's just too overwhelming. I'm gonna walk you through the entire process. I packed my suitcases, I have one carry-on and uh, one carry-on, one check-in baggage and always a pillow. I always travel with a scarf too, makes me feel warm. Show you i'll be looking for eva air i'm flying with eva air they're part of united united is a separate um will be in a separate place but eva air is right here at the polish airlines at tom bradley terminal so i'm gonna head through this door and find eva air inside now i'm inside it the moment you come inside to any airport there will be a board with information about all the um flights departing that day so you have to find your flight. Sometimes it's tricky because it will be showing a different airline because uh, it's showing you different alliances. So right now, as I'm looking, my flight is at 12.50 and I'm going to Taipei, that's Eva Air, but it will keep changing and showing you um, all the partners. So we'll be showing Avianca and Avianca flight number, Singapore Airlines, etc., etc. So sometimes it might be confusing because you're sticking to you think, oh, I'm flying with either air, and all of a sudden shows you tides, so don't worry, it will keep changing. But all you really worry about is the flight departure and the destination, right? And if the airline is right. So right now it tells me that the check-in will be at C9 to C16. So I have to find C. There's an A, B, C is over here, so I have to find C16, to 9 to 16 and check in my luggage. So a lot of airlines have an option, whether LAX or not, to check in using these uh, monitors right here. So you can see, you can choose your airline, it would be EVA Air, and then, you know, security information, yes. Oh choose the English and then it will walk you through the entire process of what to do. Usually what it takes is to put your passport over here or scan your um, confirmation. Easy. Because I checked it online, I am heading to bag baggage drop, which is basically an option for people that have already checked in online and all they have to do is uh, leave their luggage. I recommend so loud of course it's in the suitcase uh, of course I recommend checking in online it's always better for you you get to choose better seats it's a little bit less stressful and yeah it's a little faster all right so as you can see not too busy I'm just gonna go and stand in line make sure that my luggage is no more than 23 kilograms per piece that's about 50 pounds so basically this checks how heavy the bag is. Mine wasn't too bad and it's already on the way there and I'll be checking in. So, really excited. Okay, so all checked in, my luggage dropped off. I feel like going to bed. Uh, so you get tickets, I get two because I go to Taipei and then Bangkok. And on the other side is my luggage tag. So in case I ever lose my luggage, this tag with the barcode will help them find it. So make sure you, you, you know, hold on to it. Because I did it in the past and sometimes you to find your luggage. Um, they make it difficult. So it, on your ticket right here, let me show you. Okay, so this is my ticket. And the, the, the thing we're looking for, it's gate number and boarding time, seats. Uh, all I really care about is the gate number 159. And so what I'm looking for right now as I'm heading out. So now time to go through security. Uh, I have to have my ticket and my passport ready uh, so that the lady will be checking if my passport is matching my name. And I'll just follow them. Now it's time to uh, go through TSA. So security will be scanning my suitcase, so I will be my laptop away um, in a special separate container. I will, they will be checking, um, you know, taking my shoes off here in the US. Oh my God, I look so tired, sorry guys. Um, yes, yeah, so this is basically you they make sure that you don't have liquids or they put in a bag like in London etc etc So TSA is uh, the most peaceful part of every travel because it takes forever so You can see lines everywhere 
you have to undress, take everything out, unpack. Yeah, it's painful, but it's so important because there are crazy people out there that are still trying to attack uh, planes, which is crazy. But whatever. Kicking up my shoes, laptop separate, and a separate bag. See, everything separate, and also my suitcase will go. We'll put it through the scanning machine, and then I'll have to go past this way without wor wearing anything in anything in my pocket. Now that I go through security, now it's time to all gates. I'm heading to all gates, and I'll be looking the gate uh, that is mine, which is 159. So I'm looking up for signs. It's already telling me that my gate 150. Nine, I believe, is gonna be straight, not to the right. So I'm going straight, my suitcase is going by itself. Huh? <laughs> this way. But now that I'm heading to my gate, I always bring an empty bottle of water. Usually it's a little bigger than this, but uh, that's all I had at home. And I bring it empty, make sure that it's completely empty, because even if there's a little bit at the bottom, they will take it away. But if you bring it empty, you can refill it. And I love to have my own uh, water bottle at the airport and on the plane, because there's always, there's never enough water. Or when there is, they give you a little cup and then like you want to fall asleep and you don't want to like down the entire cup because you go to the bathroom right away. So bottle is a perfect system of me figuring out to have enough liquids and not spending five bucks on a water at the airport. Perfect refill, nice and cool. As you're walking towards the gate, it's a good idea to uh, go shopping and you can get last you get the last chance to buy some souvenirs. You can get some electronics that I often forget. A uh, little sandwich, some more water. You know, just a good idea to get something before you jump on your flight. I got some coconut water and a banana. Like an extra sack. I always have to I have some snacks, otherwise I'm miserable. And look, my gate 159 is over here. I'm boarding the plane right now. They will check my ticket again. It looks like I'm the last person to board. And now with just a boarding pass, I'm heading to the final gate. Now boarding, heading to the plane. Things are easy. And we're at the plane. And this is the last time when they're gonna be checking your boarding pass to let you know where you're going. Hello. Love your outfit, thank you. Oh, so this is where the business class is. And we're passing to the poor economy folks. I think, I'm pretty sure this might be business too. The other one was first. And all the way back. This must be economy premium where the seats are a little nicer. Very nice. Actually, this is not too bad at all. And we're heading closer and closer. So as you can see, this girl's ABC. Then it's one, two, three again, and then one, two, three. Let's see where I can put this. Every time I have a window seat, I always go to the bathroom, so I don't have to do that as much. Oh, go ahead. Uh, so the bathrooms are all the way in the back. I know, it might feel like I'm being uh, overly um, simple, but guess what? If you've never been on a plane and you wonder what it works like, well, here it is. Tiny little bathroom. Uh, Hello, you see, always with a scarf. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just gonna use the bathroom, wash my hands, uh, brush my teeth, and you're ready to fall asleep. And then I'm heading to my seat, which is over there. Thank you. Window seat. Oh, nice, very nice plane. And a little monitor. It doesn't work right now. <laughs> we'll work later. And the view. Depending on the airline, get different goodies. Um, this time it's just like a very simple pillow and a blanket. Sometimes you get an eye mask and some socks. Sometimes you get um, toothpaste and a toothbrush. It also depends if you like business class, you get a lot more. And really nice headphones, for example. It's just super basic. However, the queen is super nice, um, like really, really nice. And I've never flown Eva Air. Uh, I don't think I would choose this airline myself, but because it was organized by the tourism board uh, for me, here I am. It's awesome. Although I'm tired, but it's awesome. I'll show you what I usually travel with. Uh, these are just like cleansing pads to wash my face. It's my number one favorite product. Uh, Very nourishing. This is an eye cream, but a slider, a toothpaste, toothbrush, a small size. I'm changing them and uh, different kinds of. 
moisturize it, but this is like my basic stuff that I always want to wash my face and then make sure it's moisturized. beauty goodies that I try to travel with a hydrogel a lip mask because my lips get very dry when I travel a face mask this one's from Sephora but I use different ones I just need some moisturizing something for my face <laughs> these are for eye bags these are great I really like this is from Grace and Stella I'm gonna link them below they're really really good if you have puffy eyes this is the way to do it and foot mask and head mask because uh, oh my god they're so handy too The transfers was so easy, I didn't even get to pull out my camera because <laughs> basically it was a giant sign that said transfer, uh, and there was no other option to go. Huh? You can either leave uh, or transfer, and there's okay. a huge line for maybe an hour <laughs> to transfer. But I want to show you this water machine here in Taipei, which is paper cups because it's all you need. Pa uh, plastic cups are such a waste, and you just press, you choose warm, hot, or cold. See, and then I got my water. See my little paper cup with water, super cool and very environmentally friendly. Still waiting in line. All right, so I went through security. So this line that said transfer was just a line to go through security, just to scan uh, your luggage and yourself. And right now, I'm heading to all boarding gates. There's a giant sign and no other way to go. So there's a sign to all boards and then you see which is your gate, right? This is what's important. It's showing 8 o'clock, my flight's around 9, so I'm gonna wait until it shows up here. Bangkok, 9 o'clock, C... C6. Easy. Awesome. So I got here and it's now showing me C125 this way, uh, C5, C6 and C10 this way. So as I'm heading this way, there are more signs, so... C C6 <laughs> is to the right. Oh, look how fancy. Some table to drink tea. I'm actually gonna look for some food. I think it's gonna be my choice sweet potato and nut sandwich. Um, but you can have a fish sandwich. Is it like a vegetable a cup or an omelet chicken burrito wrap? I mean, pick and choose whatever you want. And sandwiches like this too that are a little bit. Strawberry puree yogurt, also very different to what we're used to. I'm here back at the gate, um, having eaten. Uh, I reversed myself a little, you can't tell because I'm so tired. But look how cute my plane is, super cute. All right, so now that I have my ticket, I'm gonna be heading uh, to board. It looks a little different because I had to come downstairs to board, let's go. Can you see this lady speaking? She's holding a little... Um, little sign showing that it's zone 4 so when you get your ticket it actually shows you what zone you'll be boarding mine is zone 5 which is the last one that's when you buy the cheapest flight or uh, yeah or you never fly with this airline so when I fly with Delta because I'm a member with them uh, like a silver member member probably <laughs> probably platinum this year uh, you get to board first so you would zone one or business class would be zone one and then they divide it depending where you sit or what kind of uh, tickets uh, you have so my zone is last one so I'm gonna patiently wait because it's nice <laughs> to wait until it's my time to board last one to board story of my life I love boarding last but it kind of sucks whenever Hours and I'm awake, so I wanted to get some work done. And I left being by the aisle 
when I'm working because it gives me that freedom of like being more mobile. So yeah, but no charging, so that will be very limited at work. Huh? I usually try to do a face mask um, on my every flight because my skin gets so dry and I get so many imperfections when I fly, which is pretty normal. So uh, I might look a little weird, but Bodia. I want to show you, so when you arrive in Thailand, I hope you're not distracted by my face mask. Um, you get this arrival card. You always get it in different countries. Most countries, I think. And you just fill out your basic information for the visa. Sorry. I am now at the Bangkok airport and take a look. Immigration baggage claim this way. So I'm just following, following the arrows as usual. Now it's telling me to turn left. Arrivals, immigration baggage claim, going straight. Easy peasy, as you can see. All right, now that I passed immigration, I have this table over here that will tell me where my luggage is. So I'm looking for my flight, and my flight arrived around 11 from Taipei. That's the one over here, and it's the carousel number 20. So as you can see, that's a 12, that's a 14. I'm gonna find mine so I can find my luggage. I could change in the meantime, and now I'm just waiting for my luggage. Super easy. It does say my flight number in the back, and it, it comes from Taipei. Um, and I think this is my luggage. Actually, it looks like it's been staged, but it actually has, it's just arriving right now. My good old beat up uh, suitcase that's been through so much. There you go. Picking up, uh, and it will tell me, you know, uh, that my my name should be here, just to make sure that I didn't. I'm not stealing other people's suitcases. There it is, and now I'm heading out through the exit uh, for final customs. I'm gonna wrap up this video at the exit. I'm exiting through exit B, which is irrelevant, but I have two options. Go through the green section, which is custom, nothing to declare, or the red section, which is something to declare. You can declare money, you can declare if you have food, or I don't know what else you can declare. I basically usually try not to declare anything. I mean, try not to travel with anything. I have to declare because it takes time. I haven't tried. Oh, there he goes. Uh, declare all the food related products and fish and stuff like that. Comes in handy when toning meat, so then you, you don't travel with it. Easy, and now I'm gonna cross and arrive at Bangkok. Uh, airport meet my friend Lisa and I hope this video was very helpful for you to get an idea of how to navigate through a busy international airport as you could see it was relatively easy and I know some airports are more difficult than others but I always think that they never want to make you get lost so as long as you get to ask someone and believe that you can do it you can do it let me know if there's any other videos you want me to make I'll be more than happy to and film them for you when I'm a little bit more refreshed <laughs> than this time. But I hope you enjoyed it. Love you. See you in the next video. Bye.